Hello, in today's video, I'm sharing with you five different ways to style the faux leather shorts. These that I'm wearing here are from Zara and they've been all over my TikTok and Instagram feed. So I decided to get them. I've been loving getting to style them because it's been a really great break from corduroy pants and also faux leather pants as well. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a very warm welcome. I cover fashion and styling videos, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The very first look that I wanna show you is the combination of the faux leather shorts with a chunky knit sweater. One of the reasons that I really love the faux leather shorts is because it provides a wonderful starting point to mixing textures. And I think mixing textures in winter is an amazing way to create really cool looks. You have so many opportunities to layer on. And the combination of the smooth leather fabric with a nice chunky knit like this one. It just looks really sharp. It provides a lot of texture. The shorts that I'm wearing here are small and are very big at the waist, but I did want a slightly longer short and I was a little afraid the extra small would be too short. They aren't so big at the waist that I can't wear them. So I'm going to stick to them. I'm just going to keep the small, but just something to consider. You might have to do a trade off between how short they are and how they fit around the waist. For reference, I'm 5'5 and I'm usually between an extra small and a small or a zero and a four. Moving on with this outfit, I'm styling the faux leather shorts with tights. Actually, this is one that I just got from Zara and it's just a nice little argyle sweater that would also be a really great match with these shorts because it's that nice chunky knit. The next super chic outfit featuring the faux leather Zara shorts is pairing your knit and shorts with an oversized menswear inspired overcoat or blazer and also the Chelsea chunky lug boots. I The ones that I'm wearing here are a little bit taller than the original Chelsea boot. That's just feeling a little edgier to me right now and more like street style. And it's just a phenomenal outfit when you're truly having to travel and walk in that day, whether it's commuting or you're on a trip and you have places to go. It's just very functional and it's also very warm because you can keep layering on with scarves and even like a smaller blazer underneath and then the overcoat. So it just depends on how many layers and warmth you need. It's super practical. The next outfit is just a very classic sweater vest look with the white button down underneath and the sweater vest that I'm using is one from Zara as well. It's just a very pretty pink kind of paisley jacquard pattern. This is a small, any kind of sweater vest that you might have having that classic look with that big oversized white shirt underneath and a vest just kind of pulls it all in together. I'm wearing this look with some flat boots that are knee high that are also from Zara. This would be also a great traveling and commuting look. I might prefer because of the volume of the shirt to even wear it with some knee high boots that give me a little bit more height so I'm not swallowed up in that oversized white blouse. But I just wanted to show it to you here because I did want to check out the new boots from Zara. They are a little bit long for me, I'm 5'5", five five, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them, but I really like them. <laughs> if you're enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button so we can be friends. The next look that I'm really excited to show you is one featuring this Chanel inspired Boussole jacket. This one happens to be from my last H&M haul. Make sure to check out that video if you haven't already for a lot of different winter outfit ideas that are so affordable and look so classy. Any blazer will do for this one because it is more Chanel inspired and kind of that tweedy black and white. I did use a quilted bag and also some, also some knee high boots that are that have a heel so that they give me a little bit more of a lift. And then just for fun, I added a beret because I've been wearing a few more hats over the last few months. Not only are they very functional, but they just make the outfits a lot more fun in general. In look number five, I'm finally shedding the tights and the boots and I'm wearing my faux leather shorts with some nice leopard print heels. I think that always is so fun. And again, still trying to play with the textures. The texture of the heels is a little bit of that faux fur leopard print. So it's actually a little fuzzy. And then my cropped cardigan that hits me right where these shorts end. So just a very simple look, but I think this is a great date night look. The heels make my legs look longer. And then that cropped cardigan also makes my legs look longer as well. So I feel like that whole look makes me look really, really long. So if you have a cropped cardigan sweater at home, pull it out. A lot of these shorts are, even if it's not from Zara, are still high waisted. So it just kind of drops perfectly above that waistband. Just really quickly while I have you, I just unpacked these. So I wanted to show them to you. This is just a new little handle bag from Zara. It's super cute, it's quilted. And then this is just their classic little red bag that is really, really popular. 
I've really been wanting to run back, so I finally bit the bullet and grabbed this one. They both have just one kind of option of handle, so you can only grab this one as a handle bag and you can only kind of do this kind of shoulder thing, like they are not crossbodies and they don't have crossbody straps in them either. So just something to, to watch out for. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a huge Zara haul coming that you don't want to miss. And also make sure to check out my last H&M haul where I share a lot of different winter outfit ideas. If you had fun with me today, give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you really soon.